In a Glass Cage is a remarkably complex film. It's one of the most complex uh, uh, representations of, of, of fascism ever. So you have the, the main character who was a doctor in a concentration camp who was performing experiments on teenage boys and, and kind of uh, raping them and, and doing really horrible things to them, tries to commit suicide in the opening scene, but he unsuccessfully, so he ends up in an iron lung. The only part of his body that's visible is his face. And he's, he can't move. And uh, his uh, daughter and wife are his, his caretakers. And uh, a young boy arrives uh, offering to kind of help take care of him. And, and uh, it turns out that he's one of the boys that he molested in the, in the camps. And then the boy, uh, you know, begins to um, to reenact the atrocities that he uh, performed uh, in the camps. He reenacts them in front of the eyes of the uh, doctor in the iron lung. <laughs> His gaze, which is fixed, is very much aligned with the gaze of the audience watching the, the film screen. The film is very much about voyeurism. It's insanely complicated or complex uh, movie in terms of the whole Oedipal kind of trajectory of the movie. He eventually takes the place of the mother, played by uh, Marisa Paradis. She's killed in this very giallo kind of way uh, in a very dramatic scene. It's about uh, killing the mother um, to have access to the father, but then the daughter um, of the, of the uh, doctor, at the end of the film, in the most extraordinary scene to end a film, she cross-dresses as a boy and takes the place of, um, of the young boy who's, who's been torturing the doctor in the iron lung, which is the final kind of conclusion of the Oedipal moment. The director talked about how the whole thing is very much in terms of the mise en scène and the and the and the uh, production design that it's all about that it's based on um, bullfighting and um, there's like the red curtains that he tears down when he uh, to to put the mother's body in are uh, you know symbolic of the of the red cape used in the in the bullfighting ring and and how bullfighting in Spain is symbolic of this uh, kind of colonialist uh, um, kind of spectacle of, of, um, of death that is kind of like the prime ritual uh, the, uh, of the whole country, that the whole country kind of like um, participates in.